Hey guys, not sure if you can see this, uh, but I am able to capture the Orion Nebula uh, with this little setup here. I have the 500 millimeter uh, Optica telescope type lens, as well as the uh, Canon T2i. Uh, I tried earlier in the week using my, uh, my new Canon T3, uh, but it seems like there's a lot of noise. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because it's warm where I am right now and it's producing a lot of noise, or, or if the camera is faulty. Um, it is used, so I don't, I don't expect it to be uh, top quality. Um, but for tonight's shoot, I am using the T2i uh, because of the issues that I had with the T3. Regardless, the night is going pretty well. The wind is, is not too heavy. Uh, the Ioptron mount is performing beautifully in keeping the Orion Nebula in view. And uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to get some exposures. I don't have too long on the Orion Nebula anyways. Uh, it is close to the horizon. It's about 20 degrees above sea level right now. But thankfully there is nothing in my way um, on the horizon. It's just, just the ocean. After this, I'll be doing some uh, flats and darks to go along with these images, and hopefully I'm able to pull something out. So this is the gear that I brought with me. In the corner here, you have some batteries and chargers, uh, a light that I use for vlogging, a uh, cap, also where I keep the Ioptron mount. This is where I keep the 500 millimeter lens. There's some other lenses in here as well. The T3 camera, uh, some caps and such. My filter for doing flats. Some of the challenges that I faced was um, getting the Orion Nebula in view. Uh, it's a lot harder when you don't have a computerized telescope mount uh, to help you point towards an object. So I am doing this manually and, and the best way I did that was uh, I used a 50 millimeter lens uh, to get the object right in center and then I switched to the 500 millimeter and uh, yeah, the, the Orion Nebula was right in view after that. The weather forecast said that we are going to have clouds for the majority of the night, uh, but I did find a window of opportunity to get the Orion Nebula in view, so I'm going to take advantage of that while I have it. And yeah. Uh, so I just finished shooting for the night. Uh, it turns out this rig does work pretty well. Um, I did have some issues with wind, I had some issues with getting focus, but overall I was able to get some good shots and I think the night turned out. I'll process these up and show you what I get. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back with the boys and uh, get my drink on. After an amazing trip in Cuba, it was time to fly back home to Toronto. It wasn't until I got back home that I was able to process my images, and overall, I'm impressed with what I got. After stacking images from the Canon T3, the noise I was experiencing was basically cancelled out, so that's a huge plus. I'll have to continue using this camera for deep sky objects, even though it has a bit of noise. I was also able to get some good shots of the moon using the Optica 500mm lens. It has its advantages if you can manage the manual focus. With that same 500mm lens and using the Skyguider Pro, I was able to get some good shots of the Orion Nebula. I took 12 second exposures at ISO 800 and ended up with a whopping 6 minutes of total exposure time. Take a look at my master flats frame. You can easily see the signature optical rings from the dust on my lens. 
Thankfully, these are averaged out when integrated in my final image. In the end, my portable gear worked out great. The Ioptron performed perfectly. I was very happy with what I was able to capture with the Optica 500mm lens. In the future, I'd like to see what Andromeda or some other nebulas would look like through it. I'm also happy with the performance of my T3 Astro Modified camera. This will improve my imaging capabilities going forward. Lastly, I'd like to say that I had a great time in Cuba with my friends. We partied hard, ate well, and got our needed sleep. Thanks for watching.